Hi everybody, Dr. Vinod Sonoretti here again, talking a little bit about lower extremity leg strength and how it affects your back. So it's pretty easy to understand that your back muscles are pretty small in comparison to your leg muscles. And it's also easy to understand that you walk with your legs and not your back. So having good leg strength is very important in supporting your back. A lot of times in phys physical therapy, we end up trying to get a patient to have a little more leg strength so that back has stability and also work on their back muscles so that back has some strength and stability as well. So what I'm going to show you today is a very simple movement that you can do. If you have a mirror at home and the mirror is on this side here or on this side, you can watch the way you squat. So I'm going to demonstrate a squat. You keep your feet about um, two fists apart, let's say about six inches apart. You look down and make sure that your legs are about that, that, that much wide from each other. And then you kind of keep your arms here or here and you just squat down. And you come back up. So what happens a lot of times when you squat down is people will do a couple of things. They can either squat down and lift up their calf, their calf muscles like this. So they're unable to come down without putting their calves down, which could indicate some tightness in the calf muscle, which you need to stretch the calf muscle to make sure it's loose. Um, they could also do something like this where they lean forward with their back because their, their back muscles aren't strong and their abdominal muscles aren't strong. So they're leaning a little bit forward and they come up like this. They don't get a full squat so the back is not straight on a slant. So that could indicate that there's some back weakness and also some glute weakness here in the, in the glute muscles which help to keep your back, which will contribute to helping keeping your back straight. <clears throat> Additionally, when they, when they come down, you may favor one side or the other and that might indicate that there's more of a dysfunction on one side versus the other side. <clears throat> when you're squatting down, you also want to make sure you come down to a point where you feel fairly comfortable and not too far down. Some people come down for a squat pretty low and they come back up and that limits the way they actually they actually can move. The further down you go requires a little more hip work or the work of your hips to, to engage at a lower depth. So if you can't go down that far, um, it may indicate that there's some level of weakness or possible instability in your hip. Uh, most of us don't need to go down that far because it's not something that we do consistently or, or on, a, on a normal basis. But it's also important to indicate that some there, something might be there for the hips to be worked on uh, and that the quads might be sufficient, but the hips may be needed to be worked on a little more. So those are some suggestions for you to look at how you can work out your squat and make sure that you're keeping those things in mind. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, one point, uh, you can start using a table like this to start lower <clears throat> and just work on building up your squat. So, uh, and. Any, any table can be used. In our clinic, we have tables that go up and down, so we can actually lower it, lo lower it down and come back up. But you can start from a seated position and then raise uh, and then add pillows to a chair or even bring down lower if you have a lower mat or something that you could work on to build up your squat. And that will help out in general to help strengthen your legs. So definitely use your leg strength and, and work on your leg strength to help support your back.